is the Lachlan Historian Podcast. And for this episode, we reach back to the first week of May, 1959, and the Century Dog Training Center, where canine specialists ship the first bloodhound to Langley Air Force Base as part of its experiment to determine if dogs other than German Shepherds were suitable for service. Initial reports from Langley indicated that the Bloodhound's performance as a century dog had been satisfactory. However, a deeper look into the training regimen proved a different story. Going through an obstacle course with German Shepherds, the Bloodhound proved to be, well, not as agile when climbing walls and crawling through long tubes. The even-tempered, affectionate, and oftentimes stubborn Bloodhound, while a true expert in finding people through scent, also showed to be a bit sluggish on specific exercise routines and not the most aggressive of the breeds. The Lackland Century Dog Center experimented with other breeds based on their particular talents, such as retrievers for their eyesight and smaller dogs that the Navy used on ships. However, the German Shepherd remained as the premier military working dog for the Air Force until the introduction of the Belgian Malinois in 1984. And with that, I'm going to see if I can sniff out my lunch. This episode brought to you from the 37 Training Wing Office of History and Research at Joint Base San Antonio Lackland, the gateway to the United States Air Force.